Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. Let's get right into your love reading for today. As always, this is a general reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through today will resonate with everyone watching. So please just take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and let the rest go. I miss everything about you. Your person misses you. They miss everything about you. They miss talking to you. They miss spending time with you. They miss doing things with you. They miss going out to eat with you. They miss cooking at home with you. Whatever it is that the two of you would do together when you were spending time together, they miss everything about you. Yes, they miss your passionate moments as well, but they miss who you are. They miss having you in their life. They miss having you next to them. They miss everything about you and you are on their mind. I am so different now. Your person is changing. They're telling you they're changing. They're a different person now than who they were when you were together in the past. But so are you. You're a different person now as well. So when you guys start rebuilding this connection, when your person starts communicating, reaching out, trying to bridge the gap that's here between the two of you, when you spend time together again, you'll have to get to know each other all over again because you are both very different people than you were before. You've become stronger. You've become more independent. You've resolved those issues within yourselves that you needed to work through, right guys? Your person has as well. So they're different. They've healed past wounds. They've let go of emotional baggage from past relationships. They are finding the strength within themselves to open their heart and be emotionally vulnerable to you. The universe keeps sending me signs. The people upstairs, the universe are sending your person signs and synchronicities that are reminding them of you. Every time they see something that reminds them of you, they stop and they think about you. And that causes them to start missing everything about you. They start thinking about the things you used to do together. They start thinking about how beautiful you are, how handsome you are, how loving and caring and nurturing and supportive you are. They see things like your initials, your name, your birth date, your favorite song, whatever it is that reminds your person of you. The universe is sending them these signs and signals because the universe, your angels and guides and theirs as well, are trying to get this connection between you and your person moving so the two of you can come into union together because you have more life experiences that you need to have with one another as a couple in union with one another. You can't learn all the life lessons that you need to learn for a lifetime with this person during this separation time. You have to also learn while you're together. That's the fun lessons. Those are the ones that are way more fun than what you're feeling and experiencing right now. I'm struggling emotionally and need more time. So your person may be having some emotional ups and downs that they still need to work through. And they have to work through possibly some emotional baggage that still they've been carrying around from the past that they haven't fully let go of. And they're telling you they need more time. So I do feel that being patient with them, and I know you've been patient, <laughs> you've been patient through this whole thing with them, but you want them to come to you whole. You want them to be healed. You want them to not have this stuff that they've been dragging around their entire life. I do feel for some of you, your person's emotional wounds do go all the way back to childhood and they have to heal it, deal with it, work through it, through inner work and self-reflection and whatever else works for them to allow them to heal and let this go. But your person is healing. They're changing. They're different. They are going to present themselves to you in a much better healed version than the person that you knew before. But remember, you're different as well. And you will get to know each other again. I can't just be your friend. So many times people think, well, let's just be friends after this relationship that we've had. Your person can't just be your friend. If they could be your friend, they would be talking to you. There'd be no reason for them to be running, to be ghosting, to be in this no contact dynamic with you. 
If they could just be your friend, why can't they talk to you? If there's nothing there, if there's no connection, if there's no feelings, if there's no emotions, it's because they can't just be your friend. Because there is something more there. There's something deeper in this connection than friendship. And it is the intense emotions that your person feels for you in this very strong, powerful connection. It is overwhelming for them. That's why they can't talk. That's why they're still struggling emotionally. This is why they need more time. But your person is working through these issues the way that they need to work through them. And we all work through stuff. We all work through our issues and wounds and whatever at different rates because we're all different. And I do feel for your person, they're doing it the way, the only way they know how, but they are doing it. And that I feel is the most important thing. I was confused about what I wanted, but I see clearly now. Your person does have a very strong sense of clarity about what they want. And what they want is you. And perhaps when the two of you were together, they said they were confused. They were confused about their feelings. They were confused about what this connection was. They were confused about the intensity of this connection and why they felt something for you so strongly and so powerfully, even though you'd only known each other for a short period of time. They see clearly now. They've had, they've had this moment of clarity. They've had a breakthrough and they've had an epiphany. Do you feel it when I have intimate thoughts of you? Okay, guys, we did talk about passion a little bit with the I miss everything about you. So if your person is having intimate thoughts of you, you may feel that from them because that is the most powerful kind of energy there is. So if all of a sudden you're having intimate thoughts of your person out of nowhere when you weren't even thinking about them and you were involved in something else, and perhaps you were even trying to sleep. If you have are having these intimate thoughts of them, they are having these intimate thoughts of you. So just know that if your person is having intimate thoughts of you, you more than likely will feel it as well, because that is a very strong, passionate connection that's here between you. You bring out a softer side of me. I do you feel your person is trying to embody more of the softer sides of their personality. And you will see a much softer side to your person when the two of you start coming back together. You'll see a side of your person that you've never seen before. Because remember, they're very different now. They will be more nurturing. They'll be more supportive. They'll be more giving. They'll be more caring. They will be more emotionally expressive. They will make sure that you have what you need. They will make sure that there is balance in this connection where you're equally giving and receiving to each other because that is what this kind of connection is truly about. Equal giving and equal receiving in a partnership. It helps keep the relationship in balance. And I do feel sometimes it's really easy to overgive in a relationship, especially when we really like someone. But at times they can take that for granted and then you're getting nothing back in return. Not with your person because they're different now. Because your person is going to be more nurturing, supportive, and giving with you. This is the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card that tells us that you and your person are perhaps at physical distance from each other. Perhaps it's a long distance connection or perhaps they're in a different country or you're working in different countries right now, but it's also a card of emotional distance. But your person is embracing the softer side of themselves. So with this Two of Wands being here, it tells us that your person is going to become more loving with you. They will start being more expressive of their love and their feelings for you. The Two of Wands is also a card that tells us your person is going to start taking ownership of what they need to do to fix this connection, repair this connection between the two of you by reaching out and communicating, starting to bridge the gap that's here between the two of you, putting forth more effort and energy in your connection. The Two of Wands also tells us that your person longs for you and they miss you. And they do see a future with you 
because this card is also about making long-term goals and long-term plans with one another. This is the Nine of Wands. This tells us that your person has backed off from your connection for the moment, and we are aware of this because there's no contact between the two of you. But what they do with this Nine of Wands is they're figuring out a new approach. They're figuring out which direction they need to address this disconnect between you. What can they do? Which action should they take? What is the best way for them to start bringing this connection back together? Remember with the Two of Wands, we already said they were going to take control and tar start taking accountability and responsibility to repair the connection. This really tells us that they're trying to figure out what approach they should use. How should they fix it? What should they do? The Nine of Wands also tells us that your person recognizes that they have invested time, energy, effort, and their heart and love into this connection, and they want to keep moving it forward. They want to keep this connection flowing between the two of you. They just have to figure out what they're going to do. This is the Eight of Wands. This is a card of communication. It's two-way communication. So if you haven't heard from your person for a while, the Eight of Wands does tell us that it's very likely that you will hear from your person. They will initiate communication because they want to talk to you because they miss you. But the Eight of Wands is also a card of movement. So if things have been stuck between you and your person, where there's been no movement, where there's been no communication, where nothing has happened, the Eight of Wands also tells us that things are going to start moving. The Eight of Wands is a card of things starting to move quickly. So although they've been stuck for a while between you and your person, and there's been nothing happening, this card tells us that when your person starts moving things along, it could start zooming here because the two of you are going to want to come back together because the soul's urge to merge and come into this um, intimate place with one another. So just, I just want to say, try not to get too carried away when things start coming back together with your person because it's going to be really hard to keep things moving at an organic, natural pace because, boom, the two of you are just going to want to start spending time together. To, and if that is what scared your person in the beginning, if things went too fast for you, between the two of you, for instance, it could cause them to become fearful again. So the point here is try to temper things. Try to allow things to develop naturally and organically between you and your person. It may require you setting some boundaries with them, which is scary, but it can be one of the life lessons that perhaps one or both of you need to learn for this lifetime. Setting boundaries to make sure it doesn't move too quick, because if it goes too quick, it could get away from you again, and we don't want that to happen. So it's because the energy between the two of you is so intense, it just wants to, to come together. So just be wary of that, guys, and know that you may have to sound, set some boundaries to allow things to develop a little slower between you and your person when things start coming back together. This is telepathy. The two of you do have a strong telepathic connection. You think each other's thoughts, complete each other's sentences. You know what's going on with one another across time, across space, from the other side of the world even. There is such a strong connection here between you and your person. And this is why when I said this, that your person is having, to, when your person says this, do you feel me when I have intimate thoughts of you, it's because of this telepathy. The connection is just so strong between you and your person, guys. No matter how long it's been, no matter how far apart you are right now with this distance, emotional distance or physical distance from one another, awareness, your person is growing in awareness. They are more aware of their actions, their behaviors, what they did, how they created this disconnect between the two of you, and they are acknowledging their part in creating the problems that happened in your relationship. You will see this from them as the two of you start communicating and coming towards union with one another. They are undergoing changes. They are different. 
They are growing and awakening to the divine within themselves so that they can recognize the divine in you. So the two of you can come into this beautiful union with one another. But by being aware, they're able to take ownership and responsibility and accountability for their actions and their behaviors for their part in messing up this relationship to begin with. Divine intervention. There is divine intervention around this connection between you and your person. Your angels and guides, their angels and guides, the universe. Everyone is working together to try to bring this connection together. Because the two of you do truly belong together. You are the one for each other. If your person is seeing, where was that? Your person, the universe keeps sending me signs. Okay, so there is divine intervention in this connection. The universe, the angels, guides, people upstairs, the heavenly administration. Everyone is working towards trying to bring this connection together between you and your person. Your person seeing signs and synchronicities, things that may not even make sense to them. Some of them are so specific to you and your connection with your person. So your person is growing, evolving, and becoming a better person so the two of you can have a much more solid, stable relationship with one another that is built on a foundation of love. And if you haven't heard from your person in quite a while, I do feel your person is going to reach out to you soon. This looks like communication is going to be happening through them initiating communication. This is your reading for today, guys. We hope this was able to bring some insight into your connection with you and your person. If you enjoyed the reading today, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and type 1111 to claim this reading. Thank you all so much for watching.